Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to just go ahead and continue showing you guys how the Caustic Arrow character is performing. Now I'm a bit over leveled in Blood Aqueducts as most of us usually are. I'm level 73 but this is just on a simple 4 link with Quill Rain. Uh, and I'll go over all the links and everything after. Remember you can always refer to the video guides previously that I've made if you want some more information. Uh, this is pretty much mainly going to go into delving and I want to show you guys a little bit about the delve mechanic. Uh, I'm just going to speed through this really quickly though. I also found out to my knowledge that Toxic Rain stacks the damage over time with itself, I believe. Um, so we will probably end up using a Toxic Rain setup for single target, since Caustic Arrow's single target, even though it was buffed like crazy, is always going to be limited since you can't stack it. Perfect. Okay, so also, if you guys are familiar with the previous build guide I posted on the uh, Dominating Blow Guardian, uh, as this is SSF, I ended up farming a Tabula Rasa, vaulted immediately, and we ended up getting a pretty good Tabula Rasa that I could probably use for the Guardian. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any armor, but it's 6 length, 92 life, a resistance, and decent colors. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right on into Delve. So I'm going to be doing delves a bit lower level than what I am because I don't really want to die. I'm going to be honest, I'm playing hardcore. The mechanic is pretty sketchy right now. I think they still have a lot of things to work on with delve, but it's really fun for right now. Um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the way delve essentially works is you've got this straight line, right? As you, I don't know if it's as you level up or as you progress through the, the main game or the core game, this will basically... Think of Minecraft, right? You're making a mine shaft, and this mine shaft will just continuously go down and down and down and down and down. Now, the important things to note is the further you get in your delve, the more dangerous it becomes, not only with the level of the monster scaling, but with the penalties and reductions. So, for example, you need to upgrade your darkness resistance, you need to upgrade your light resistance. Um, you'll probably also want to upgrade your sulfite capacity because as you're mapping you don't want to be able to just instantly fill it, right? You want to be able to do a couple maps or you know have fun and enjoy yourself. You also have these flares which um, which are really kind of shit right now, but uh, I'm sure they're gonna work on them or maybe I just need to spam upgrade the radius. Basically you throw a flare, the flare lights up an area, you're safe in that spot um, and then you have dynamites to blow up like kind of secret slash hidden stuff. So. I'm going to go ahead and jump right on over here. Uh, the reason why I decided to go over here is because I'm trying to farm Azurite. The reason why I want Azurite is that's basically what you use to upgrade this stuff. Uh, and furthermore, in the future, I'll be able to purchase these, which are essentially they allow you to socket in the modifiers that you find uh, into here. So... Let's go ahead and jump right over to here. It's really nice in the sense of you can fast travel to pretty much anywhere on there. So I'm gonna click, it's gonna go ahead and teleport me here. Alternatively, I could have just clicked here or here and it would work too, but I'm just gonna click to go here. So Mr. Choo Choo Train is going. Uh, you can see it consumed my Azurite. If you want the Choo Choo Train to speed up, you simply say Choo Choo and you run ahead of it. Now, the only thing you have to be careful of is, is number one, Monsters can put the light out of your choo-choo train. So uh, I don't know if it's better to kind of like zoom through and go really fast or try to stay around it and turtle and like drop flares. That's kind of something that I'm still kind of learning and you know, okay, choo-choo train, what are you doing? Don't fuck with me like that. Okay. Oh, ally shall not die. Kind of spooky. All right, we're good. Nice, nice. Also, the trickster ascendancy works crazy good here. Um, because you get 2% maximum life recovered on kill. As you can see, there's a lot of mobs. You also get 4% of your maximum mana recovered on kill. As you can see, there's a lot of mobs. Uh, and if you're playing a CI variant, you get 2% ES regen, or ES per, uh, per monster. As you can tell, there's a lot of mobs. Oh, I dropped a flare by accident. Okay, that scared me. Okay. Hey, 15% whirling braids. Now, Azurite is really cool 
Uh, you can thank our old friend that died, Diablo 3, for this because it does automatically pick it up. So rest in pieces, it's lovely soul. Um, and then simply put, you can just start the next trek. Now the game is smart. So what I mean by that is I am this red dot here. So if I want to go ahead and do this one, um, it's going to automatically, you can see the choo-choo train is here. It's going to teleport me here and it's going to open up a little circle. And when you step on the circle, the choo-choo train will activate as you can see. The longer you delve, like the further the trek, the more expensive it is. So trekking from here to here is 46 sulfite. Trekking from here to here, assuming you can, is even more. When you're doing the ones with these long corridors, there's going to be secret areas that you can go into the side, maybe areas you can blow up, and that's where you find a lot of the good stuff. Unfortunately, like I said before, I am very scared to do some of them right now because they just feel really sketchy with these little poo-poo flare. They have said that they are going to be working on the flares Oh, I think I actually sold my ring that I... Oh, no, it's right here. Just kidding. They did say that they're going to be working on the flares as well. So expect to see some really nice quality of life updates in probably just a couple of days. If not, maybe the end of the weekend. Choo-choo! Like you could see down over there, there's probably something like kind of hidden. champion returns welcome home I just want to give a shout out to Fitz for the uh, five was that five gifted subs you just gave thank you so much bro very nice of you my buddy our illustrious champion returns welcome home okay nice now with this azurite that we have farmed essentially we can go ahead and just click to go back our illustrious and we can spend returns. it right over here Welcome so you can home. see now I can upgrade my light radius or sulfite capacity or etc. Uh, I don't know exactly. I believe they said that the delve is shared to your character only. I don't know how the upgrades work. Champion returns. Welcome so home. Um, that pretty much concludes my video of delve. I'm sure I'll be releasing much more content and footage for you guys. The other thing to note is there are different types of like terrain. Our illustrious champion returns. You can see like over here we have, I don't know what this is, you have like ice areas, you have fire areas. It's just overall pretty nice. Uh, it's like a nice change of scenery and stuff. Especially with the new like illuminated lighting setting that you can uh, enable. Where is it here? Under UI or maybe graphics. This one, global illumination makes the game look very nice. Anyway, uh, I just want to go ahead and show you guys my gear really fast if you guys are curious. The character has been feeling very well. I don't really see much of a downside. The only thing is the single target, like I was saying, may lack a little bit. Uh, I didn't really enjoy Agony Crawler, but I'm pretty sure Toxic Rain is more than enough single target. Since we're using a bow character, we're going to be able to have two six links anyway. So that's pretty much going to fix it. All right, that pretty much covers everything. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And maybe you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. I also have a schedule set up on my stream now as well that you can find there. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful time.